So to begin, we need a damselfly that's been in the fridge so it doesn't move around. We need a clean microscope slide. This damselfly might move around a little bit. You need to separate the abdomen from the head and thorax, just like that. Add a drop of water, small, small drop of water, smaller than that if you can. And what we want to do next is separate the gut from the rest of the exoskeletons. So here we have this video in fast motion showing me um, removing the ventral plates of the exoskeleton uh, and removing the gut from right underneath, uh, right on top of those ventral plates. Here is the gut under the dissecting microscope. The gut is on the top with an air bubble in it, and then that material on the bottom left is part of the exoskeleton, um, perhaps some trachea, whatnot. When you're looking for Gregorins, this is one of the best ways to uh, create those slides, just mash up the material. Here is the posterior end of a damselfly. This is a male. And by removing the posterior end, it'll be a little bit easier to take the gut out, um, as you're going to see here. You'll also notice that this individual has a lot of those small mites. Um, So there you can see it's very small. This one hasn't eaten for a while, but that's a gut. And this is what it looks like when it's covered in Gregorins, those small white patches. Smear that across the slide, looks like that. And under the compound scope, they will look like this. We have multiple species here, you'll notice three separate parts. A deutomerite at the posterior end that's on the right of this specimen. A protomerite, which is a small piece of that um, snowman looking structure and then on the left on this specimen is the epimerite. Uh, we need all three of those in order to identify these specimens. You'll notice that they each have their own shape and their unique shape and size and we should expect to see somewhere between three and four species of Gregorins in these hosts.